My name is Abel Lurint and I am the assistant in the first team responsible for analysis. My main responsibilities are analyzing the opponents, the tactics, what we can expect, how they will play, our own team after the game, what we can improve, what went well, and coming up with tactical solutions and ideas, suggesting things to Marty, how we can make the best of, best of our team. I started working in Hungary, first in an academy, then went to a first league club, then went to a top club in Hungary after I spent six months in Denmark and I was in contact with Marty for years. We were actually opponents in Denmark and he asked me to come here. I interviewed and applied for the job and that's how I'm here. Yeah, video is the best tool to show the players what happened in the game or to show what we want because it's very visual, immediately the player sees what happens, but also there is no debate about what happened. Sometimes during the game the players can have feelings or maybe you don't see everything that is happening, all the information, and maybe that information can change what you should have done in that situation, but video is a tool to show the players the whole, the total picture. Tactics for me is the most important part of football and there is a physical coach now in every team. Why wouldn't you have somebody who, who is an expert in the tactical part of the game? For me, the tactics I love the most or the coaches I follow the most are the ones who play a type of football that speaks to me. For example, it's so good that Hamarbi has a culture of playing nice, attacking, entertaining football because I'm a very creative person. I think of football in a creative way. So this type of, of football is very close to my heart and it makes it easy to work here. It's a long week, so basically every day is with football. The day after the game, it is watching back the game thinking about the solutions, what we can improve in the next week. Otherwise, we work always a week before and preparing the opponent, the next game, what they are doing and also a lot of time just coming up with ideas, looking at international teams and new solutions that we can take for our own team. So during the week it's mostly about improving a player or improving the relations in the team. So maybe we give feedback about the last game or we just uh, want to show the player certain situations even from international games, what you can improve, how you can take your game to the next level. So we are doing the trainings to improve the team in a certain way and we watch back the trainings to see if that really happened, if the exercise really had the effect that we wanted. When it's in the second part of the week, it's about getting ready for the next opponent, so that the players know exactly what to do on the match, and they don't come across any situations that is, is new for them. During the match, it's about uh, in half time giving a little bit of feedback, just a few situations to the team about what we did well or where we can improve and where we can really hurt the opponent. I'm talking with Xavi, the assistant coach, and I have constant uh, connection to the bench about what is going on. And for the half time, we take a few situations that really describe what happened during those 45 minutes and what we expected in the match. And we go in, we talk with the coaching staff what we are going to present to the players and I quickly have to come up with two or three situations that best describe what we want to show. And then there are still a few minutes left from the half time where we can go to individual players. If this is happening, make this decision or just be aware that they are trying to open a space this and this way next to you so we can give individual feedback too. ...to anticipate, because now look what's going to happen here, actually, you do it much earlier, but still, here is the key, they follow. So the key on this game, guys, is that we play behind them, because now, Berget is floating, if Mohanad goes, 
Look at this. They struggle. They don't like to the fight running behind. Guys, high, high, high school here, okay? Just compete. Trust what we have been doing. And guys, let's go for it. 45 minutes okay, we can go. Okay? And we have only one break in football, which is the half time. It is the best time to do it. Of course, um, if there is a stop in the game, Marty and the coaches can talk to the players. But uh, football is a very open game, so there is not many opportunities to coach and give feedback during the game. We do our best, but that's the reality of the sport. Yes, we are in constant dialogue and sometimes maybe we don't even agree because for a tactical solutions there are many ways to solve it. But uh, because we expect what is going to happen in the game, I'm already going in with an expectation of we will be good in attack here, maybe in defense we have to take care of that. So I, there are not many surprises, but of course a completely different thing can happen in the game, maybe the opponent changes in minute 20. So you have to be very concentrated and very alert. There are no certainties in football, so if football was like FIFA, there, there would be no excitement about it. So it's not uh, mathematics. Whatever can happen in the game, a uh, red card or maybe a goal is scored and then you have to approach the game in a completely different way. You are just trying to minimize the, the randomness in football and give the players the best tool to succeed. But uh, you can never be certain. I am watching the most games, of course others are watching games as well, but then we sit together, I come up with a final analysis that I think they are going to play this way. We use 12 as well, their statistics in coming up with uh, what they are going to do and everybody comes with ideas how we should defend, how we should attack and from the meeting of those ideas comes the final, final tactics that we are going to do. In terms of set pieces, yeah, it's a team effort very much with Marty, Xavi, Imad, Mille and myself. So we all give ideas about how to best approach. But I really like watching international teams and coming up with ideas about what we can do or how we can implement these ideas in our own game model. I knew, of course, about the culture of the club, the supporter base, a little bit. I knew about the club, but it's one of those things that you don't really know how big it is and you don't really feel the atmosphere and the culture in the club without being here. So when I came, that's when I really realized and I really took it in what it means for the supporters, how many people are interested in what we do and the whole, whole feeling, the culture of the club, it is unique. I really think that, yeah, of course, in football many things can change and uh, I can, maybe will work for another team in the future, but I don't think I will work for a team like this. It is really special. Also the training facilities in Orstal that we have the forest here around. It's a beautiful environment, which of course you have to be settled outside of the pitch to do the best work that you can. And in terms of the culture of the club, to entertain, to play good football, to have a connection with the fans, this is something that I think Hamarbi has to keep and it's really special and we, we have to take care of it. My expectation is to do the best game that we can and that's it. I think it would be a mistake to think about anything else. Really just think about today, do the best training, prepare the best way and try to do the best game. Hopefully we win and just take it game by game. That's the only way to approach it. Otherwise everything else is a distraction from this. I always had this aspiration to create a type of play that you can only see if you come here to watch Hammarby. That for anybody to watch Hammarby should be a special experience that they cannot get anywhere else, else in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's very good that the players are very open, 
they are open to doing what we ask them and we always try to push the boundaries and come up with new solutions. So I feel this is a team where there is a possibility to do this.